Hi, today I'm going to demonstrate Millwork Development's eCatalog. The eCatalog is a visual software for the configuring, quoting, and ordering of Millwork products. Millwork Development can create a custom application for a distributor that can include a single product category such as exterior doors or include a variety of products from multiple manufacturers configured into one easy to use application. The eCatalog is available as a desktop application, which can be installed from a CD or downloaded from the internet, or as a web-based version, which can be run using Internet Explorer on a desktop computer, or in a client application on Android, Apple, Chromebook, or Microsoft Surface devices. For a hands-on trial of the desktop or web-based eCatalog, please visit Millwork Development on the web at millworkdevelopment.com. Okay, on to the demonstration. When the eCatalog is started, the user is taken to the home page. The home page is the control center of the eCatalog. From the home page, the user is able to access all of the product modules, utilities, and features of the eCatalog. The product selection group will include a button for each of the products the distributor chooses to include in the eCatalog. A PDF file of the distributor's product catalog and other documents such as product literature can be stored online and accessed by the users of the eCatalog via hyperlinks on the home page. The online files are maintained independently from the program. Millwork Development creates an index page based on the files provided by the distributor. A user can open a previously saved project from the Open a Project button, and the eCatalog settings page can be accessed from the settings button. The program uses distributor list prices, making it a tool that can be used at any market level. The user simply enters their multipliers, retail for quotes, and net for orders, along with their company information to be displayed on quotes. The first time the eCatalog is run, the users will want to go to the settings page and enter their company information and set the product multipliers. So let's go to the settings page. The product multipliers can be accessed from the uh, settings page by clicking on the multipliers button. The multipliers page is organized by product. Each of the products included by the distributor is listed in the product category drop-down. The user will need to select each of these products and set its multipliers. A product can include one or more subcategories. Let's select exterior doors and set its multipliers. Enter net, your cost, and retail, your selling price, multipliers for each of the categories. Use the copy first row to all rows to simplify the task of updating all the categories. Once you've entered in information for all the product categories, exit out of the multipliers page and back to the program settings page. The correct multipliers are critical to ensuring the eCatalog displays the correct prices. In the company information area, the user should set the name, address, phone number, email, and website for their company. The user can also import a graphic to display their company logo on the quote form. Information on the settings page and multipliers can be password protected. By selecting the password protect checkbox and entering in a password, the user can ensure that the settings and multipliers are not accidentally changed. The setting page also includes additional global settings including quote and order default formats, 
personal information such as a salesperson's name and email address, and directory paths for the customer database and the location where projects are saved can be set in order that this information can be shared by multiple users. You also have an option of setting sales tax. The sales tax information can then be displayed on quotes. The desktop version also includes a feature which allows the e-catalog to automatically check for updates. For a single user environment, this should always be checked to ensure that you always have access to the latest distributor information. Select Save Changes to update the e-catalog information. From the home page, the user can enter information specific to the project they are working on, including the name, address, phone numbers, and contact information. The e-catalog includes a customer database to save frequently used customer information. Click on the button next to the ID drop-down to open the customer database form. To add a new customer, click the Add New Customer button. Enter an easy-to-remember name in the Customer ID field and fill out the rest of the customer information. The e-catalog also allows users to set up additional discounts for saved customers. Click the Set Discounts button to access the discount form. The customer discounts are organized much like the product multipliers but the discount multiplier is applied in addition to the retail multipliers entered on the settings page. A discount of one means no additional discount is applied for the customer. This is the default. A discount multiplier of 0.8 would mean that an additional 20% discount is applied for that customer for the product category selected. Once a customer's information has been entered into the database, it can be easily retrieved from the home page. Let's take a look at a product module. Each product module is specific to the type of product it includes, but they are all designed with some common features. Each product module starts with a pre-configured item based on defaults that are predetermined by the distributor. Usually these are the most common selections. The user simply changes the selections as needed. The product modules have tab controls on the left that make it easy for the user to navigate and make selections when they want to, instead of having to click their way through a series of questions. A detailed image of the configured item is displayed to the right of the controls. The detailed image may include the dimension of the configured product, such as a side view or a top view. A tree view of the item list is displayed on the right. The list shows all of the items that are included in the pro project. Double clicking on any of the items in the list will open that item, making it easy to navigate and make changes. The description for an item that has not been added to the project yet will be preceded by pending in the list and will be grayed out. Items in the list can be expanded or collapsed to display or hide their information. You can quickly navigate back to an item on the list, click an item on the list and open it in its product module. Additional features are included in some modules a wizard option to step through to step the user through the selection process, a catalog creator feature that allows users to create their own price pages, and all modules include the ability to add manual line items. Let's configure an exterior door. From the doors tab, a user can select the door material, fiberglass, steel or wood depending on what the distributor offers, door series, glass style, panel style, and other high-level door options. 
When a user makes a selection, all the other selections update automatically. This ensures that only valid choices are available. In addition, the detailed image and item list are updated to reflect changes in the product configuration. Let's add side lights and a transom to our door. So we'll click on the side light tab, select a side light. We could just include a single side light or two side lights. Click on the transom tab, we'll add a rectangular transom. A frame and trim options can be configured from the frame trim tab. This could include the frame type, uh, the exterior, interior, strike plates, sills, wall size, and other options. Options and accessories can be configured from the Options Accessories tab. This can include pre-finishing if it's offered by the distributor. And again, notice how the image and the item list are updated based on the selections. Let's add a lock set. And again, you can see that the image and the item list are updated accordingly. Okay, now our configuration is complete. Press Add Item to Project. When you've added an item to the project, the user is given the option to start a new item. Let's select Yes and configure a new exterior door. The configurator starts where the last item ended. Simply make whatever changes are needed for the new item. Let's remove the transom and side lights. Okay, item 2 is now complete. Select Add Item to Project. Select No. And now we have two products configured and in our item list. A project is only in temporary memory space until it's saved. Click the Saved icon on the top menu bar to save the project. Quote and order forms can be viewed, printed, emailed, or saved as a PDF. Quote and order form options can be viewed from the forms menu on the top toolbar. Let's take a look at a quote. This is a detailed quote. And the detailed quote includes the company information entered on the settings form, including the company logo, customer information from the home page, and again, since this is a detailed quote, each page is dedicated to an item in the project. In this case, the detailed quote will include the image including the side and top views, and an item description outlining all of the items making up the first entry door that we configured. Page 2 will show item number 2, again showing the company information, logo, customer information, front view, side view, top view, and again, an itemized list of all of the things that go into the entry door as configured.
The eCatalog includes an imaging module that can be used to visualize what a product will look like on a homeowner's house. The imaging module can be accessed by selecting the Open Imaging Module from the Imaging menu on the top toolbar. All exterior items in the project will be displayed on the left. Selecting File, New Project opens up a dialog where a saved image of the homeowner's house could be called up. I'm going to select one of the sample homes included in the e-catalog. Okay, either of these two images could be dragged on to the picture. So I'll go ahead drag and resize and put into place. This image can be saved or printed. The imaging menu also includes an option for viewing and printing just a larger image of the product. That concludes the e-catalog demonstration. Please visit Millwork Development on the web at millworkdevelopment.com for more information. Please contact Millwork Development for a personalized demonstration of the e-catalog. Thank you.